Do you have a purpose for your soul? Or are you wandering, trying to figure out what it is you're interested in doing for your life? Do you have a vision, a mission for creating an empowering lifestyle that is making you feel joy, happiness, and fulfillment? Well, I'm here to let you know that life is about creating and expanding and filling your life with various activities that are interesting, new, unique, and sometimes out of your comfortability. Life is about being able to explore and travel, try new things, experience life in different variety, reading new books, getting new knowledge on different subjects that can really spark your imagination, that can really get you to think in different perspectives on reality. So you see that life is um, often taught to us when we were young children, how, you know, this job's a powerful, awesome, high paying job, or be a fireman or a policeman or go in the military. It's a brave, heroic job. Or, you know, do what mom and dad think is best for you. And sometimes we've grown up from our teachers telling us that these are the, the good jobs. These are the, the, the ones that you'd like to go into college for and, you know, get a degree and Get a nine to five job for the rest of your life where you can, you know, work each week uh, and, you know, have your car in your house and have a comfortable life. You know, you can watch some TV, go to the movies, hang out, go places on vacation occasionally when you get your time off. But life is much more magical than that when you allow it to be. When you allow yourself to explore and get rid of the linear state of thinking, start to become more dynamic and diverse and try new things that you never have before. Sometimes, you know, when we're children, we grew up in certain environments with people and certain attitudes where perhaps we tried sports, for example, baseball, and we could possibly never hit the ball, right? So we grew up this mentality that Baseball sucks. I don't ever want to do it again. I hate the sport. I don't really like playing it. But perhaps later in life, you know, because maybe that people around at the time there were saying things to you and you had, and you were unconfident later on in life, you picked up the bat and you went to a game and you had a, like a local game and you hit the ball all the time and you knocked it out of the park, home runs, you know, it all depends on the environment, the energy of the day and your attitude in your brain. If you think you can hit the ball, you're going to. If you don't think you're gonna hit the ball, you're gonna miss. So failure is a, a stepping stone to greater growth. And sometimes when we've had failures, people have given up on life, and we said, I'm never again, not for me, I'm not gonna do it. But as an older person, as an adult, Sometimes it's okay to go back and revisit things that we did as a child because perhaps we have a different outlook on life these days and we might find enjoyment in it now. So to find your purpose, it takes um, a cultivation of experiences over time and not thinking that you need to find some purpose or purposes in my opinion, because there's many things that we can do, not just one thing. For example, playing guitar, gong, singing, making videos, putting them online, being a social media influencer, uh, painting art, making jewelry, doing various things that excite you and not just one aspect of life. So, being able to have a nice diverse range of skills, you know, financial skills to save money, 
to understand how to spend money, invest money, you know, skills on how to drive a car, skills on how to use a computer, skills on how to do different tasks in your life. We're multidimensional beings. And so stimulate your mind with new ideas and experiences and socialize more, connect with new people, because that can lead to experiences where you can find greater fulfillment and feelings of joy with people that are serving your intelligence. Asking guidance for the universe will help you to find your purpose. Saying things like, I ask the universe to help bring me experiences in which I'm able to find things that bring me joy and which help me to thrive and become more invigorated with being alive and ask them for beautiful new uh, ideas and uh, thoughts that help you to think about how to make money doing what you love. Say things like, I am financially successful and prosperous because I'm going to find things that serve my well-being, that give me a healthier state of happiness and great uh, awareness for life. Creating is a very conscious way to connect with your soul. When you make something out of nothing or transmutate the physical world into some sort of tangible object that is new and unique, that can often make you feel joy and excitement knowing that you created something with your hands and your mind and your perception for life and then having something to offer the universe, whether it's uh, a new musical instrument, uh, a beautiful new innovative product that people can utilize that helps people solve problems or challenges and also a product or service, something that can help people with your events or your workshops and classes where you're helping others and you're getting paid to do something that fills you up, but also helps people's intelligence and their ability to create and thrive in their universe as well. Find pleasure in your passion. Let yourself Persist with a plan and set goals for your being. Whether it's you know exactly what you're wanting to do, what you desire to create, or if it's just a goal that says, I would like to find something that brings me meaning in life. Set a goal that says, I am able to attract the right people and experiences that let me know who I truly am. See the world in a new light. Fill your mind with love and allow yourself to Tap into the frequencies and feelings of your heart center. Blossoming new, bold, courageous actions. Take steps, move forward in life. Allow yourself to eliminate stagnation, complacency, and start to allow yourself to flow with the rivers of change and the current times in reality. Letting go of grudges, baggage, or other unnecessary mental chatter that no longer serves you, that's keeping you from your dreams. When we hold on to certain thoughts about others or ourselves that are negative or lower, 
Like, I'm not good enough. I'm not financially successful. I live paycheck to paycheck. I can never seem to find the right people. I am, whenever I go out, it just I just have a terrible time. There's nothing for me in life. I have no meaning. I'm, I'm purposeless. I'm sad and I'm depressed. I, you know, I sit at home, watch TV and eat ice cream. There's really nothing for me in life. These statements about yourself, if you've created them, are no longer serving you. Allow them to be eliminated and removed from your conscious field and your aura and allow you to fill yourself with new vibrations of positive uplifting statements and affirmations. Create thoughts that are empowering like, I have a purpose for life. Meaning is what I create for myself. And so I manifest more moments to exist with people that are helping me understand myself. I allow love to shine brightly in my heart and I'm able to become more financially successful doing things that fill me up with joy and purpose and drive. I wake up with an invigorated spirit that's on fire to make change in the world and make my life a more prosperous, financially abundant experience. I am grateful for the greatness of God that gives me a new outlook on life, a perspective to change my reality to something greater, to rise above the status quo of my experiences and get out of the comfortability zone Get out of your stillness and that repetitive mundane behavior where each day seems like the last. Explore. Get out into the universe. Look at events calendars and find something that resonates with you that you've never experienced before and go do something new. Life is about cultivating you. Share your truth, use your voice, get out there and express your noise. This is the time for you to enliven, awaken, and inspire your soul. Let yourself grow, be known. I appreciate you. Please love and subscribe this video. I'd love to have you be a part of my community that I'm building. And uh, I appreciate you listening to this video. I, I pray that it will help you in the coming weeks and months and years ahead, and that you will definitely spread your wings like a butterfly, metamorphosize and evolutionize your mind. Thank you so much. Namaste.